Hey guys, it's Numistaka here, and whenever I get a package like this, no matter how often they arrive, I always feel like a little kitty when I open it up. And today I kind of know what's inside this package, uh, recognised the information on the label. So uh, I know that it's going to be something fun, and uh, there's a three things inside here uh, which are all going to be pretty cool. So. Uh, you can probably see, if you've been watching my videos, you can probably see already that they're those nice pink gold packages um, supplied, beautifully wrapped by Coin Connection. You always know with Coin Connection if you're going to receive a pile of gold because all of the gold coins are wrapped absolutely beautifully in this pink tissue paper with a lovely coin connection decorative bow and you certainly don't get that kind of beautiful wrapping when you buy a gold coin direct from the royal mint so we're going to take a look at the first one and see what we've got um, usually these type of boxes are reserved for strike on the day sovereigns uh, if you haven't been watching my videos uh, what are strike on the day sovereigns? Well, they started in 2013 making sovereigns which had a special uh, box and a special card. They were struck to brilliant uncirculated finish rather than the harder struck proof coins. And they were struck on one day and only one day to celebrate some kind of special event, usually some kind of royal event. But initially, for the first four or five years, the coins themselves were basically indistinguishable from any other sovereign. So, um, you know, you, you were never quite sure when you saw one on the second-hand market if it was the original coin that was actually struck on the day or another coin that had been put in the box. But over the last couple of years, the Royal Mint had been learning their lesson and subject to pressure that they have received, they are now making strike on the day coins distinctive in some way so that they are unique uh, unto themselves and recognizable instantly. And since they started to do that, the level of interest in strike on the day coins has dramatically increased. There have been quite a few um, over the last couple of years because of all the great number of royal occasions. This one is the last one um, to be produced. It was struck on the 24th of May 2019 to celebrate the birth of Queen Victoria. And uh, you've seen some of these arrive in previous videos. I've had quite a few uh, not in their packaging arrive from Silver Forum members who want to get them graded. So you kind of know already, if you've been watching my videos, all about what makes them unique. And uh, so they've got this monogram on the left-hand side, uh, they've got a plain rim, and they've got the matte finish. That combination makes this particular coin unique, and there are only 650 of those. So in terms of mintage and rarity, uh, 650 of these compared to maybe 13,000 of the regular proofs. So uh, you are going to find it quite difficult to find these coins, but they make quite an interesting diversion or an interesting collection all by themselves. If you are interested in these coins, pay very special attention to the list of coins being released by the Royal Mint. See if you can find out information in advance and you'll be able to pick one of these coins up for your collection. With great thanks to our sponsor, The Coin Connection, for agreeing to another month of 2% discounts. Uh, that's 2% off everything with the special code, Kevin. Yep, K-E-V-I-N, Kevin. If you've been peeking through the tissue paper, then you might have deduced what coin is going to be unwrapped this time. So uh, if you haven't, then I'll let the cat out the bag or the hound out of the Baskerville. 
and you'll see that this is the Sherlock Holmes coin and it was issued uh, in silver uh, I think there was a regular circulation one as well and also this issue which of course is in gold and uh, this is a rather spectacular gold 50 pence uh, I believe gold 50 pence pieces are on the up at the moment there's certainly a lot of interest in them by members of the silver forum and they do seem to be one of the first coins that the mint produces to uh, sell out so i think even though they obviously are premium coins when they're new because of the charges uh, the mint make for these kind of coins the mintages can be low enough to make uh, make them interesting in the second hand market as well so uh going to have a look at this coin. I think it's the first one I've seen to be unboxed on YouTube, so might be a bit of a YouTube uh, first on this particular occasion. And uh, I'm going to have a look at the coin and uh, you guys can think about you know, what you think of it, what you think of gold 50p's. Have you noticed um, any difference over the last six months in the secondary market? Any more sales, higher prices? Um, what do you think of the gold 50 pence generally? And some of these coins are quite interesting. Some of them can be very low mintage uh, sleepers. I think ones to watch out for in particular are the uh, Stephen Hawking 50 pence piece and the Snowman 50 pence piece, both of which were very low mintage. And uh, they seem to do kind of different tiers. This one is a moderate mintage. It's not the lowest, but uh, whenever they think there's a subject that is the kind of thing that everyone is going to be interested in, then they normally mint a few more. Um, and usually they're pretty good judges of what demand uh, is for a particular release. So let's have a look first at the little card and see what we can learn about this particular coin a celebration of sherlock holmes number 36 nice low mint number nice low coa number okay so there's 400 in these boxes and they have an authorized mintage of 600 coins it doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to sell 600 coins um, quite often the royal mint issue and authorize many more coins than they actually sell and it's worth researching how many are actually sold to see which ones are going to be the rarities going forward so you can see we've got uh, there's sherlock with his uh, classic pipe and his deer stalker hat and uh, he's surrounded by the names of all of his most famous um, adventures uh, Arthur Conan Doyle, who created Sherlock Holmes. And uh, my favourite was always The Hound of the Baskervilles, but you guys might have your favourites too. And, and the, the other question is, who, who were the best Sherlocks ever? And my vote for the best classic Sherlock goes to uh, Basil Rathbone. So look up on Google uh, or YouTube, Basil Rathbone Sherlock, and you can see his Sherlock and... Uh, and I'm not sure who played Watson to his uh, Sherlock, but that was absolutely classic and, and fabulous. So there you go. Mystery is solved. We know what was in the box, and we know that this coin is going to be graded by NGC, and uh, you should see it emerge in its slab in one of the Mega Results videos. So... Uh, there were three coins in this package. I'm not going to dwell on this one because I know that it is another one of those strike on the day sovereigns, but uh, it's always nice to rip apart uh, Coin Connection's beautiful wrapping. Um, sometimes these coins are hard even for people like Coin Connection to get hold of, and I know that uh, they were significantly... Um, they, they, their deliveries were significantly less than the numbers of people who wanted to order from them for this particular 
uh, coin. So if you are interested in guaranteeing one of these coins, then it makes sense to do a bit of research first. So there you have two Strike on the Day Victoria Sovereigns and a very, very lovely gold 50 pence piece. So uh, I've done my work and uh, that's all for me until the next arrivals video or maybe the next mega unboxing video. See if you can deduce which one I'm going to do next for you guys.